Today, the Vinod Gupta School of Management, IIT Kharagpur, had the privilege of hosting Mr. Niladri Ray, Chief Technology Officer, Broadridge Financial Solutions, Private Limited. It was indeed an enlightening session today, sir. And now we would like to ask you a few questions. Shall we proceed? Sure. So, what are the steps that the students can take to embrace the upcoming VUCA world? Um, look, I think um, you all took a few steps today. The session that we had. Um, I think the big, the first thing I would say is that uh, to embrace VUCA, you need to be able to have the love for chaos. Um, you know, balanced with the fear of failure. And uh, one thing which stuck very early in my career, uh, you know, my boss had told me this, um, that uh, it's probably the first part of my career when, uh, you know, you're pretty much going for everything. And uh, he, he made a comment to me saying that uh, you are a grass court player. You need to learn to play clay. Okay. And uh, honestly, at that point in time, I didn't understand what he was talking about. He was tennis player. Then you know, you, 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 you watch tennis, you, you follow Nadal, you know, how he plays clay. So, uh, and one thing which stuck is the fact that uh, in, in grass court, the rallies are short. You okay. have winners. In clay, you learn to play long rallies. Okay. And there's a lot of stamina and fitness involved and, and stuff like that. And um, it also builds muscle memory in terms of, you know, how you, and you set up a point and then you win. Hmm. So, in life, in, in, in a VUCA context, while it might, look like it's a very difficult situation which you're walking into the ability to hang in there and I said love for chaos you need to hang in there enjoy it and then know when to land the winner right? so that that I would say is probably the most important thing and uh, obviously to hang in there you also need to be able to project yourself into scenarios you think that could go wrong and you know how do you you know work it backwards from there so that, that's what I would say thank you for the answer sir and sir, now would you like to share some views on the disruptions that are emerging in the banking and financial sector? So look, there are many of them. Uh, and, you know, I think from the banking and the financial services sector, you know, where we are today, just in terms of how uh, the, the traditional utility of the bank has been redefined. And um, I think um, I would say that there are two things that are happening. Uh, the bank's core utility in terms of how it delivers its services to its customers have changed with the concept of you know, open banking, anytime banking, um, the um, the aspects about uh, you know uh, ability to move money at any point in time, and access to credit. You know, from where we sit, uh, obviously you know we are the backbone uh, for the financial services industry in many markets, or investor communications and securities processing. And what where we see is um, there is a lot of value in terms of. Um, um, our customers appreciating the value of the network. So what banks traditionally thought to be their forte and differentiating services yesterday, they're realizing could be service far better, far more economically and with innovation if we take specialized partners. And I think with that respect, and I was just mentioning that, right? I mean, the if you look at the uh, number one bank in the world today by assets, if I'm not wrong, that's ICBC. And um, you have um, uh, Uber, which is looking to kind of you know, penetrate the U.S. market, was struggling initially because there was an issue with drivers having to enter bank details okay. and they were exiting. So Uber had to figure out a way to be able to circumvent that and get them involved. They don't want to be a bank, but there's play for fintechs to be actually also out there. So I think the, the entire thing about you know, banks uh, being a place where you can actually have deposits, to how you can actually then have uh, valued services in terms of access of credit and movement of money is where it's going. That was a great answer, sir. And so now we'd like. And I'm sorry, I should have mentioned this as well. I think one, one big one big technology that I think is shaping is shaping uh, times to come is blockchain. Yeah. And you know, we one of the few companies that have been able to um, you know ride this hype cycle and and have a couple of very interesting use cases in production. We've taken a a repurchase contract, which we call the repo in the U.S. markets, I've been able to find a way to have this bilateral contract uh, go through a blockchain solution where we're tokenizing the collateral. And that's proving to be significant in terms of value to our customers in terms of improved cost and efficiency. So this is one of many. You know, we've got an ABC strategy, a blockchain, cloud and digital, but I just want to mention that as well. Thank you, sir. 
Professor, thank you. And so now, would you like to share your experience with interacting with the VGSOM students and some message that you have for the budding managers? So it was fun. I think that first act we did, which uh, I think was the icebreaker. Uh, I loved the energy that I saw in the room. Uh, I also love the challenges that were made. Um, I also, uh, look, the, the batch has got an interesting mix because you all have prior experience. It's a batch full of engineers. Yes. Sir. Right. And you've, it's a very interesting batch in terms of the specializations you've taken in operations, analytics, and sales and marketing. Sales. So very broad, you know, uh, coverage, which is, which is very good. So I, I kind of enjoyed the interaction, um, made up for the fact that I had a very long travel in. I didn't feel tired. So this is I think credit to you all uh, for keeping it and keeping me engaged in the session as well. Thank you so much, sir. So it was a pleasure hosting you, sir. And we would look forward to more interactions with you in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure.